Hello guys, um, welcome to the first video in our series of walking through the prep guide for base programming using SAS 9.4. So, a quick background base SAS forms the foundation for all SAS solutions. So, this is your first step into diving deep into the SAS tools and applications. Yeah, so let's get started. So, for the requirements, first we will need an environment where we will code and in this video we will be using SAS Studio so SAS Studio is a web based platform where you can code so I'll show you the site here is the link um, I just signed out and will sign in again so here's the link um, if you don't have a SAS profile you need first to register and get verified before you can access this uh, I have already registered in the site so let's log in yeah while it's loading yeah here so in the applications part you need to choose this as studio so it will pop up a new window and it will load the environment where we'll be doing most of our coding so while it's loading uh, yeah the next part is once you completed all of the prep guide you need to register for the certification so you will have to schedule that one here in the certmetrics.com so here's the list of my certifications I have the previous base programmer SAS 9 certification so this is the older version of the certified prep specialist and I have not taken the delta exam as of now so I'm also certified advanced professional so this is the new version yeah and this is more of the hands-on certification exam yeah and so for the first part once we had yeah here's the uh, user interface of the web studio so here you will type your code and you can run save so this is like cloud based um, platform so every file you save will be uploaded to SAS cloud yeah so for the first part let's keep going so we need to set up all the data so in SAS the SAS certification will provide you the data that you need to complete all the exercises so it includes the SAS data sets Excel workbook CSV files and text files so to download that we will need to go into this link so let's try to go that and we will save this file yeah so here is the file containing all the um, the data sets and files that we will be using so I'll just save that in this folder yeah so here here are the documents, the datasets, the codes, yeah, and there's a readme file. So let's follow the instruction in the guide instead. So we have downloaded the file now and we have unzipped it. So next is to open the create data that SAS program. So here's the SAS program and then we will open that in the SAS studio so in here we need to click the um, just a sec we need to upload the file so yeah new um, import data I think 
or no? Let me check that one more time. a little bit so I think we need to first upload the files in here so let's just create a new directory first so sasert this 9.4 no guys um, I'm sorry if I'm a little lost so just like you I'm currently doing it for the first time so let's um, upload some document so we will upload that file these files and we will also upload these files ah no we can't do that so let's try to upload this one first let's see yeah it's uploaded there and let's also upload the other part yeah yeah so we have uploaded the sas files from the zip file and then we need to open the create data sas program so let's open that one right click open yeah here here is the uh, path i mean the code so the next step is to update the path macro variable so it's to point where we save all the other SAS programs so let's just get the path here and update this once we had updated that we should run the program yeah so I'll save that control s and then run yeah it's running and there we go so all the data sets are now created we have no errors when we executed that one yeah that's it so that's it and the practice data are now ready to use so yeah so we have saved the create data set so every time we log out and log in we would just need to first run that program to create the practice data sets and then yeah so that's it for our chapter one lesson so we will continue next time so thanks for watching and bye bye